I've been wondering about the efficiency of USB chargers. Is it better to have a centralized power supply system that's always on, or is it better to use you know these little plug-in guys and unplug them when you're not using them? I found a, I saw on Amazon a couple days ago. It's a uh, two-port charger integrated into an outlet. Now I know what you're saying. It kind of sucks, right? You, you lose an outlet to gain these two USB ports. But in the location where I'm installing it, there's a light switch next to it, so I can't get one of the ones that has the, uh, the USB ports around the edge because of the, the light switch screws everything up. So while I'm at it, I got this nice array of uh, chargers to compare over various generations and various quality levels. So starting off, I have um, next up, I have a second generation Nook charger. I have an older uh, Apple charger, pretty modern Apple charger an HTC Android uh, phone charger, and uh, I'm going to compare it to this guy. And the big question is, what's better, having this plugged in 24-7 or plugging one of these in, charging your phone, and then unplugging it? So, you know, is this thing so much more efficient that the idle, the idle power of it just being always on outweighs the, you know, inefficiency of these guys? So, and it'd be interesting. And also, you know, the other question is, does this thing, you know, power down when nothing's hooked up to it? Uh, what is its quintessent current? And then once I'm done with that, I'll, I'll plug in some various devices. I've got a uh, first-generation iPad, um, a uh, Nook Glow, and an Android phone. I was originally going to use uh, a pair of multimeters and uh, do the math on the voltage and, and the current. Um, but then I remembered I had access to this guy. Uh, this is a kilowatt. Um, and the great thing about this is it does the math for you. You plug your device in, and um, it has the voltage, it has the amperage, I'm zero right now because I've plugged in. It'll compute the wattage, press again, it'll compute the VA, which is a more accurate uh, thing to use. But I'll, I'll list the wattage because people are more familiar with that. But I'll, I'll list the VA as well. First up for idle test is the MIC power supply. And look at that. Wow, 0.0, .0 watts. And 0, 0.0 VA. All right, next up is the Nook charger. And ooh, we had a little pop up there. Popped up to 0.08 uh, for a second. But now it's all zeros. OK, high ups for this one. This is the Big Apple, as I noted in here. It's a uh, 2 amp 5 volt. And we are reading zero watts, <laughs> zero VA. Next up, we have a more modern uh, Apple charger, small one, five volts, one amp. Oop. Popped up for a second there. Nothing. All right, now we have the HTC uh, Android, Android, and we got nothing. So next up is this guy, and uh, can't really plug him in, so I'm going to have to uh, uh, toss together a quick little solution for that. So be right back. I just grabbed a IC cable and whacked the end off of it and stripped the wires really quick there. I got a bunch of these outlet box for, um, I think you call it a new work outlet. So you cut a hole in your wall and you stick it in and you drive the nails in. Um, but they're cheap. They're like under a buck. And then you can um, get a, a big pack of face plates and even little light switches to use power switches for your projects. And you can put them in here and it has these little knockout panels. And you know, it's plastic's pretty easy to drill. It doesn't shatter. Um, and if you want, you can like you know nail them to something. Um, so they're, they're pretty cool. Here, I got one right here. There's one right there. So uh, I figured I'd just stick it in here because that's what it's designed to go in. Packaging's nice. Ooh, smells like a blue whiteboard marker. Here's instructions. You guys read that. Let me know what it says. There it is. Ta-da. That probably violates an electrical code somewhere. All right. Plugged into the kilowatt. Let's see what we're pulling. 
All right, zero and zero VA. Power factor one. So I guess now it's time to test these under draw. And here's my data so far. This is exciting. Uh, well, let's try these under load and see what happens. Okay, 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 all right. Here are our test devices. We have a iPad, Gen 1. We have a Nook Glow. Um, we have an Android phone, which I'm taping this with right now. Well, you just have to believe me about that. It's an Android G2. All right, first up is the iPad Gen 1. The light has gone on, sounds have been made, and we are pulling 5.8 watts and 10.7 VA. Power factor has dropped to 0.54. Next up, we have the uh, Nook Glow, Nook Gen 2, and it's charging. And we get a power factor correction of 0.51, 4.5 watts. 8.6 VA. Next up, we have the Android phone that we're recording this with. VA, 8.6 wattage, 4.4. Power factor, 0.5. Android HTC charger. And we're going to try that with the iPad. And it's charging. 7.9 watts. 14.7 VA, power factor 0.53. Do the NIP, charging, 5.7 watts, 10.9 VA, 11.3 VA now, 1, 3, 10, 11, stop messing with me, uh, 5.6 watts, 0.5 power factor. Phone on the Android charger, 4.8 watts, 9.6 VA, power factor, 0.49. Apple small, plugged into the iPad. iPad's charging. 6.3 watts, 11.9 VA, 12.1, 0.52 power factor. We have Nook. Ta -da. We are at 3.1, 3.2 watts, 6.4 VA, 0.49 power factor. And this is the Android G2 phone on the iPad Tiny charger, 2.6 watts, 5.4 uh, VA, 0.48 uh, power factor. The big honking Apple charger, charging the big honking Apple iPad, 9.9 .9 watts, 20 VA, 0.48. We have the Nook, 2.9 watts, 6.8 VA, power factor, 0.42. Now we have the Android phone, 2.4 watts, 5.9 VA, 2.5 watts. 0.42 VA. Now we have the Nook charger powering the iPad. 6.6 .6 watts. 13.6 VA. Power factor 0.47. Nook powering the uh, Nook. Six watts. 12.4 VA. Power factor 0.47 in the Android phone. 5.1 watts. 11.6 VA. 0.44 Power factor and made in China. Can't power the iPad. Powering the Nook. 4.9 watts. 8.9 VA. Power factor 0.54. Made in China charging the uh, Android phone. 4.8 watts. 8.6 VA. Power factor 0.54. So, what conclusion can we draw from all this? Well, the important thing to note is that all these chargers pull, you know, basically 0.0, .0 watts. Now, obviously, they pull some watts, but it's below the ability of the uh, kilowatt to measure it, which means that it's, you know, into the second digit, and it's obviously below 0.04, or it would have rounded up. Um, so it means pretty much you can run these things and not worry too much about it. Now, there was quite a variance in um, wattage charging the various devices. Um, just to throw it out there, the, the iPad um, obviously pulled 9.9 uh, .9 watts and 20 VA uh, through the uh, Apple Big Charger, uh, but that's because I believe the uh, iPad detected that it had a higher uh, current available, and so it used it. Um, so I imagine it would probably charge a lot faster on that particular charger. And you can see on the other chargers, it was you know 6 watts, 6 watts, 7 watts, 5 watts, more, more your typical uh, 
5 volt, 500 milliamp uh, USB charge rate. Um, well, I hope you found that interesting, and uh, I'm disappointed that these numbers weren't uh, a little more wild over here on the idle side of things, but, oh well, uh, technology has progressed very well, and uh, I guess that's a good thing. See y'all.